Hey folks, uh, this calculus lesson is on summation. Let's go ahead and get started here. Summation, uh, remember this uh, symbol from either pre-calculus or algebra 2, this, um, this, this sigma symbol, it means uh, summation. So the summation from uh, i equals 1 to n is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to the number on top right there. So for example, um, if I had the summation of k equals 1 to 5 of 3k minus 2, I just plug in k equal 1, so 3 times 1 minus 2 is 1, k equal 2, 3 times 2 minus 2 is 4, k equals 3, 3 times 3 minus 2 equals 7, and so on, plus 10 plus 13, that adds up to 35. Okay, remember doing that? All right, so uh, most common variables for the summation are i, j, and k. So basic algebra rules, you guys, um, uh, if you have the summation of just some constant, you guys, of i equal 1 to n, that just means it's, you add up that constant n times. So for example, you guys, if I had uh, the summation of 2, uh, i equal 1 to 10, that just means 2 plus 2 plus 2, 10 times, you guys, which is just 10 times 2 or 20. So um, if you have it, uh, you know, summation of some constant up to that number, you just multiply those numbers, easy enough. Okay, uh, the summation of um, uh, when this uh, you have a constant right here, you can it just means you can put the constant out in front, and we'll do some examples, and then just do whatever formula you have in there afterwards. Okay, um, uh, and then you can just add or subtract them together. You know, take the summation of them both uh, separately. Pretty basic rules right there. Okay, uh, and here's some shortcut rules, you guys. Um, the summation of, um, of uh, i equal 1 to n of i is just this formula, uh, n times n plus 1 over 2. Um, and and um, the legend goes that uh, this, this he's now a famous mathematician. Well, he was a famous mathematician back in the uh, several hundred years ago, you guys. Um, this guy named Carl Gauss, when he was in third grade, the legend goes uh, that his third grade teacher asked uh, the kids to add up the numbers 1 to 100. And I was supposed to give her some busy work time to get some grading done. And this little genius kid decided that, um, you know, he noticed that the first and last number added up to 101. And the second and the second to last number added up to 101. And the next two numbers added up to 101. And he kept adding them up. And he noticed that there were 50 pairs of 101. So he went up to the teacher about a minute later and had the number 50-50. And he had it correct. And so what he did was he, he, um, he basically used that formula up there. So if we added up the numbers from 1 to 100 using that formula up here, it would be plug in 100 there and then 101 right there all over 2. And then 2 goes into 150 times, so 50 times 101. Okay, a third grader uh, came up with that. Uh, and he was a genius, you guys. And then so uh, the summation of i equal 1 to n of i squared, you use this formula, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6, okay? And if you have i cubed, then it becomes n squared, and then quantity n plus 1 squared, all over 4. Those are your shortcut rules. So use those to evaluate uh, each of these, you guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, summation of i equal 1 to 30 of i squared minus 3i. So I'm going to use my formula for i squared. I'm going to pull the 3 out and use my formula for i. Okay, so uh, there, separate them up like that. And then uh, there's my formula. So here's my formula for i squared. Here's my formula for i. Okay, so it's going to be, I'm going to plug in 30 right here. So 30 is going to go for this guy right here, 30, and then 31 over 2. And then this one's going to be the i squared. It's going to be 30, 31, 61 over 6. Okay, and then, um, uh, and then take care of that, you guys. Okay, don't forget this is 3 times that right there. And when you crank all that out, you should get uh, 8,060. Okay. Nice and easy. Just get used to you make these formulas your friends, you guys. Uh, those are just um, some uh, things you want to put in your, your memory books right there. Okay, this one right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, factor out a 1 over n squared and pull that out on the outside right there. Okay, so n is just a number. You can just pull it out. So there it is right there. And then go, go ahead and use the formulas right there. So this is n times n plus 1 over 2. And then this is just going to be uh, 1n right there from uh, the very first thing that I showed you right there. All right, and then uh, when you get right there, clean it up. And so there it is all cleaned up right there. And then now just go ahead and plug in 100, you guys. And so you should get 103 over 200. Okay, nice and easy. All right, this guy right here, the limit as n approaches infinity, uh, the summation of i equal 1 to n, uh, 4i squared over n, over, and then times 2 over n. All right, let's, let's go ahead and multiply those together right there. And you get uh, 8i squared over n squared. I'm going to pull the 8 over n squared out and pull it out to the left right there. 
Okay, and then um, and then uh, go ahead and foil it all out and reduce you guys. And since um, um, so, I just foiled all that stuff out right there and, and reduced and 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 two went into eight four times, two went into six three times. So I got four. I'm sorry, three times. Yeah. So you get four thirds right there. And since um, uh, n has a greater is greater degree on top than it is on bottom, then it's going to be infinity, which you say it does not exist. If it was a greater degree on the bottom, it would be zero. If this was an n squared, then it would be reduced to three or two thirds. You guys, it would be reduced coefficient. We did that way back in in the earlier chapters, right there. So sometimes you'll get uh, numerical values like um, uh, you know two thirds or five or whatever, and sometimes it won't exist. Sometimes it'll equal zero on those kinds, right there. All right. If you're in my calculus class, that would be your homework, right there.